Well, welcome to Balthazar, everyone. My name is Luke, and I'm super excited today to share with you guys our Balthazar SDK. This is the first time that we're showing it publicly to everyone at once, and it's very exciting because it's going to give Web3 games the ability to give Web2 gamers an experience that they are familiar with. Even if a gamer knows nothing about NFTs or crypto, they will be easily onboarded into your Web3 game using our SDK. So let's jump into it and show you how it all works. So one of the big reasons that Web3 Gaming hasn't really taken off yet is that you really have to have some prior knowledge about NFTs, crypto, wallets, all of that jargon to really jump into these games. Take for example, one of the big first games that blew up was Axie Infinity. You click on play now. And as soon as you do that, you don't get to set up an account or download the game. You have to create a wallet, which for us in crypto, yeah, no big deal. But if you've never done crypto before, creating a wallet, even knowing what that means is actually very confusing. Say for example, I wanna play Axie, gotta get the Ronin wallet extension from there. I gotta set up the wallet and remember my seed phrase, even if I know what that is, how to save it, how to make it secure so I'm not losing this. What do I do with it? Some people are telling me, you know, write it down and make sure no one ever sees it. Someone says, you know, don't ever take a picture of it. Just memorize it in your brain. Like it's just very confusing and stressful if you've never experienced this before. Not only that, but if I want to try out a different game like Ascenders, well, now that is on the AVAX chain and I got to figure out not only how to get ETH onto a Rona wallet I just created, now I have to figure out how does the AVAX network work. And then I jump over to something like Gods Unchained. Guess what? That's also now on a different blockchain with Immutable X, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea of why it's such a struggle. Not only that, but let's say a game is easy to download and at least set up an account like Gods Unchained. You can do that fairly easily. But then let's say you're playing the game and you use the starter cards and it's all great, but now you want to buy your own cards and power up your deck. Well, you click on the market. Guess what? You have to do this outside of the game. Again, connect the wallet, figure all that out. It is just not a very fluid system and something that is native to Web2 gamers. Okay, so let's now show you what we've been working on here at Balthazar, an easy wallet solution for gamers, which is also non-custodial, meaning that all of the accounts, the assets are owned by the player, never by Balthazar, never by the game, as we've seen all the problems that have come from a centralized organization owning the keys or owning the assets. All right, so let's jump over to the Babylon SDK here. Here is our demo game. We're not creating our own game, so don't worry about the graphics. That's not the point. The point is, what people can do with this SDK if they're implementing it into your Web3 game. Now, the cool thing is when they download your game with the Babylon SDK, all you gotta do is create your username as I normally would, Luke Place Earn, we'll throw in a random password and we're going to register. Now, the crazy thing is as we are registering an account within the game, we are now also creating a blockchain crypto wallet for them without even them having to know. And this is a non-custodial wallet one key on their end and then one key in the Babylon SDK system for security. So it's cool. Now they have a blockchain wallet can also be transferred into other games. There's no need to set up a MetaMask, no need to go to a different browser. They just download your game. They're jumping straight in whether they care about crypto, NFTs, all that stuff or not. Now, as we come to the chest here in our demo, we'll hit it a couple times. Some gold is going to pop out for us. We're going to collect that gold. And as we collect that gold, not only is it going to be in our in-game balance, but that is a blockchain transaction going on as well. So this is going to be chain agnostic, but for this demo example, it's on the Binance Smart Chain. So we can actually go to the BSC scanner and we see we have 10 DG tokens in our balance just from picking up the gold within the game. So pretty sweet stuff there. Not only that, we can get jump back into the game here and we can go talk to the merchant now that we have some gold. We can spend our DG tokens to buy NFTs. And again, while it's happening in the game, it is also going on as a blockchain transaction, which is just incredible. So this is really cool because that's just going to allow players to get in a familiar gaming experience as well as own their gaming assets, which we at Balthazar heavily believed in. So this marketplace here is a shared order marketplace. Games aren't gonna have to waste their time building out their own marketplace, which is super nice. They can just work and focus on building out a super fun game. The, the listing the items is free, so a gamer could come in here, grab items, start listing the items for free. The buyers will pay the fees. And again, they can just get into your games and earn and and again, not have to worry about the setting up the wallet or all the gas fees. They can just enjoy gaming and figure out the NFTs and crypto as they go. 
So hopefully that little showing of the demo just gives you a taste of why we think this is so powerful, why we think this can bring on millions and millions of Web2 gamers. So if you're a game developer and this SDK is interesting to you and you want to get it implemented into your Web3 game, please reach out to us on our website, Twitter, whatever it takes, contact us. We would love to walk you through it and start registering games for our first initial beta of this SDK. And if you're just a gamer or someone that's a part of our community checking what we got going out here at Balthazar, I hope you're just simply as excited as I am to really just propel the future of Web3 gaming moving forward to just bring on as many gamers into this incredible space of gaming plus NFTs and crypto that we all enjoy and love. That's going to be it for now. So I'll see you in one of these videos here around me. Thank you, Gracias Salamat, for tuning in. I'll see you in that next video. Take care, everyone.